15 ways to use Photoshop Beta Generative Fill for video. To make everything work, you need to film all your footage on a tripod and keep the camera static. By using Generative Fill, you can transport your subject anywhere in the world. You just need to find a real element that matches your fake destination. Here, I will only keep the trail. I take a snapshot in TIFF format and then open it in Photoshop Beta. I select myself and the trail and invert the selection. For the prompt, I will start with a mountain trail. Then check out the different options and refine my prompt to put the trail on the top of the mountain. All I need to do now is to save the layer as a PNG, import it into Premiere Pro and place it on top of my footage. Here the waterfall is too centered, so I will move it to the side and generate the rest of the frame. Removing objects is perhaps the simplest manipulation you can do with Photoshop Beta. All you have to do is to select loosely around the object you want to remove and generate without prompting. To add an object, you need to write a clear prompt of what you want and regenerate until you get a result you like. Sometimes adding a single word can give you exactly what you want. Creating a full matte painting only requires you to film yourself in front of an element that will be incorporated in the final generated environment. You can expand an anamorphic shot by just selecting the black bars and leaving the prompt empty. Here you will select the empty spaces on the sides of your vertical video. You can even make the vertical video smaller and create a story around it. Same concept but this time you will select the top and bottom empty spaces. One very interesting aspect of generative fill is that it will respect the bokeh of your original footage, making it very good at expanding the depth of field of a scene. This is even more crazy. The AI can recreate swirly bokeh. By just selecting the top part of the building, you can totally change the look of the architecture.
you can modify a non-moving object by just selecting around it and typing a similar prompt like a fish statue or a frog statue. You can change only certain parts of the object and keep the general shape. You can also add an object in a specific place that will interact with an existing space. Changing the sky is a great way to change the storytelling of your sequence, and color grading will help sell the modification. By resizing your shot to be smaller, you can augment the depth of the scene and add new elements. Any room can be augmented and modified, as long as you film yourself in front of a uniform wall. If you shot handheld footage without moving too much, you can apply a warp stabilizer effect and change the result to no motion. This will give you a static result like if you used a tripod. Then you can take a snapshot and bring it to Photoshop to create new elements. You can even add a fake shaking effect to make the new scene more realistic. Playing with all the possibilities blew my mind, and I can't wait to use what I learned in my next videos. Let me know in the comments what kind of crazy ideas you want to make with generative feel for video, and tag me if you create some cool stuff.